Hey folks, Lama here with Cowboy Boots Hats and Western Life Enthusiasts. So this is the first video of 2023 and I just want to start by wishing y'all a happy new year. So today we're going to have a jean review. Uh, it, this is going to be a cinch white label jean uh, in the dark stone wash. And uh, it's a really, really awesome pair of jeans. I've already worn it and um, I really do love it. So Let's get into it. All right, so if y'all seen my channel for any period of time, y'all know that I'm a big fan of Wrangler jeans. And uh, basically that's what I was sticking to this whole time. I just didn't wear anything else but Wrangler jeans. And um, I, I thought about, you know, trying something different as well. And uh, I never really did, but I was thinking about it for sure. And uh, up until recently, um, on New Year's Day actually, they, they called me Rip on the Ranch. And not because I look like Rip Wheeler from Yellowstone, because I sure don't, but uh, they called me that because I uh, ripped my pants. But uh, besides that, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get another pair of jeans and I'm going to try something different. And I want to start this uh, endeavor off with Sanchez. And I'm sure glad I did because uh, they sure do make some really nice looking jeans that are really nice quality. So the Watt label essentially is what I was told to start with. Now, this is a relaxed fit. And what I do love about the relaxed fit is that it doesn't look like a relaxed fit when you put it on. It feels like one, but it doesn't look like one. I try to go two sizes over and stack it like I do my regular Wranglers uh, uh, 13MWZ. And um, I actually uh, um, didn't uh, feel that the 34 was good. I it was just kind of bunching up too much on the bottom. So I went ahead with the uh, 32 uh, inseam and it was perfect. Uh, it, it didn't bunch up too much at all. And it looks good while sitting down on the saddle. As a matter of fact, I went ahead today and took a picture of me sitting on the saddle uh, on horseback and um, uh, basically, you know, just to show y'all how the jeans look when uh, they're stacking with one size above your inseam, which for me, I'm a 30 in the inseam. So I wear 32 or 34, and, uh, but in this case, 32. Uh, now with this jeans, uh, they say that they use a indigo dye and basically they warn you to wash it a few times uh, before you actually wear it on saddles uh or anything like that or having it uh stack on your boots because that uh that indigo dye will essentially kind of go on on there so it has to kind of be washed away now it says that you should do it a couple times but i only did it once and it was good enough for me and uh, nothing really transferred on my uh horse saddle or on my uh boots and uh here's the description if y'all want to pause that and read it but um it's a really really nice pair of jeans like i said they actually uh feel like they're a relaxed fit but they actually look like they're pretty nice straight uh fit and um i really like how they look now i'm gonna show y'all what they look like with a couple different pairs of boots and a couple different scenarios uh, so let's go ahead and get into that. All right. So to start off with, uh, I thought I'd use the boots that I was wearing today, uh, working. Uh, these are my, one of my riding boots, my Nakona MD 4700. And they're basically a wide square toe with a uh, riding heel or cowboy heel. So there we go. really nice 
This spur shelf actually really does help to actually keep these jeans in line, but I think they do a pretty good job at doing that for themselves too. All right, now we got these on with a pair of Ruho ostrich in a seven toe. Here it is. Works really nice with that. That cutter toe really works well with it. Just slacks perfect. Up next, we got a pair of uh, Rios of Mercedes ostrich legs that are medium round toe. Now, with these, they actually surprisingly work pretty well. And uh, they do stack a little bit far low. But um, again, these are a little bit of a higher heel. So I think it's keeping them upright pretty good. But again, not exactly the best but actually not too bad. Now we're going with a pair of uh, Lucchese goatskin snip toes. Now I feel like when it gets to a narrower toe, um, it does need to be a little bit more of a fitted jean and uh, it really shows that uh, these jeans are about uh, a little bit more uh, of a relaxed fit uh, with these. And maybe they don't work as well, but I still think they work decent. But again, these jeans strive with wider toes. Um, again, they do come down a little bit more over these, but it's not too bad. But I think a bit of a more fitted jean for these types of boots is ideal. All right. All right, up next, we got a pair of Justin Iguana J-Toes. And uh, again, these jeans just don't really work with these, I feel. Um, they are coming down a little bit more on this. And uh, also, just the whole idea of the relaxed fit does not really work all that well with these narrower toe shapes as you can see i would not recommend wearing these kind of jeans with these boots all right so up next we got a pair of anderson bean rusty safari giraffe boots and these are a roper and uh, even though the roper is a shorter heel they do not come down past this is a much better fitting boot now we're getting into these jeans comfort zone with the wide square toe even a roper just works perfectly well looks great and this is the jean that uh these boots were intended for all right so another one of my favorite with these jeans uh this is a pair of Horsepower top hand camel suede and this is the TK toe or a puncher toe uh, Similar to a seven toe. So this is very popular and I'm starting to love these uh, kind of boots a lot And they just go perfectly well with these jeans again another pair of boots where these jeans are more in their comfort zone Just hang out really well back there kind of got a little bit of a spur shelf like a half a spur shelf so they actually hang on perfect right here and they just look really really awesome with that as a matter of fact i'm probably going to be wearing this tomorrow and i really love how that looks so let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite let's get back on top all right y'all so here's my conclusion on these cinch watt label jeans so these jeans are made in Mexico and the MSRP on them is $90. Now, I am really impressed with these jeans. Uh, like I said, I've never tried a pair of cinch on. Uh, I've only been wearing Wranglers, but they really did impress me and open my eyes to something different. 
Uh, I just really love how strong and durable they are. I love the beautiful stone wash that they did. They actually put a little bit of design and emphasis so that, you know, when you're actually wearing it, it's not just a wear jean. They actually look really good. So you could actually wear them out once you clean them after a day's work and they might just look even better. Um, also, they're really strong and durable. Uh, I really love that, how thick they are, the good material that they actually use on these jeans. And um, also the little details, you know, uh, like the cinch it up right here, the wide stitching uh, going down the jeans, the iconic white cinch label right here, the cinch uh, stitching right here, or the white stitching right here with the cinch logo in the back. I mean, they just really make these jeans fun and, and good looking, you know, and, you know, kind of uh, bring a little bit of uh, extra style to the Western outwear. Um, it's just really, really awesome. Now, another thing that I love about them is the way they fit. They're actually not a bad fit at all. They, you know, they're, they're supposed to be a relaxed fit. And sometimes on a relaxed fit, you might get a pair of jeans that uh, they, you know, bunch of they look baggy these actually give you the comfort of a relaxed fit but actually fit more like a straight leg if you will uh they don't look baggy on you now there is limits as we saw with the boots uh they're not really supposed to be worn with the r toes or snip toes then it would really really reveal the uh fact that they're a relaxed fit you know they do have like a silver label uh, which is a little bit more of a slim fit or a fitted jean. Uh, I think those would work better probably with snip toe, but I really do love these because they're comfortable. Uh, they don't uh, bunch up when you're actually sitting on the saddle. And most of the jeans or the boots that I wear are seven toes uh, or cutter toes and square toes. So these work perfectly fine for them. Uh, again, I did want to actually try another pair of Times Ranch jeans because they're actually made in the USA and they're actually $100 so only $10 more than these but these are made in Mexico the Times Ranch are made in the USA so I definitely have to try that on my channel so um, definitely uh, I would say try a pair of uh, Cinch if you've actually been wanting to try it they're a wonderful pair of jeans and I don't think you could go wrong with them uh, especially these Watt label ones uh, they say that those are the ones you should start out with if you're going to buy a pair of cinch. And I do definitely recommend them. Now, I did say earlier in the video that, you know, the, the Wranglers got ripped and that's why I bought these jeans. But by no means does that mean that I don't like the Wranglers or that they're a bad pair of jeans and that I would not wear them. I still will wear them. I do love them very much. Uh, the only thing is... Uh, they actually got ripped because I leaned up against a fence that had a sharp edge and it ripped them. And things happen like that sometimes. It could have happened to the cinch. It could maybe happen to the comms wrench. Who knows? Uh, I don't want to find out. But um, Wranglers are wonderful jeans. Now, I will tell you this. Uh, Wranglers have some cowboy cut jeans that have these kind of uh, wash. And they also have the untouched uh, non-washed uh, straight denims and I think those are a little bit stronger than their other washed jeans so uh, just remember that if y'all are shopping around for a pair of working uh, jeans uh, from Wranglers I would just stick to the non-washed uh, just the straight up uh, denim now I hope you guys like this video if you did uh, please like and subscribe to the channel we have a lot more things coming up we're going to have more jean reviews, more boot reviews, more hat reviews. And uh, if you have any comment, uh, please leave it in the comment section down below.